Thanks, Ed. Well, more and more young adults are dropping out of church. According to a recent study, 66% have stopped attending. So what's behind this? Let's bring in Scott McConnell. He's the executive director of Lifeway Research, which conducted the survey. Thank you so much for being here. So we're talking about this issue of losing their religion and why these young people have abandoned church. Some of the things you found, two-thirds of young people stopped going to church between ages 18 to 22. Why? There's actually a number of reasons, and, and the average person who drops out gives seven different reasons. Okay. Top and, one being moving away to college. Okay, we're going we're gonna to flip through these as you talk about them. So 96% cited life changes. Is that what you're talking about? That's, is that? that's okay. what the biggest life change. The other one is just work responsibilities, keeping them from attending church. Okay, so basically life gets busy. It's not necessarily an intentional decision, but it's life happens, and they haven't really planned for it. Exactly. Okay, let's take a look at some more reasons why. The 73% said church or pastor-related reasons. And that, that comes into things like not feeling connected with people at church. I mean, that's an important part of church life. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also see uh, that when they don't agree with some of the social and political views of, of the church, that's another reason to disconnect. One thing I read that was interesting is some said that they felt judged, that there was a judgmental element, which is a really interesting facet of that. that that's a big factor that kind of weaves through both mm -hmm. a political piece as well as just other decisions they're making in life. If they're mm -hmm. feeling disapproval from the church right. when they pick a job and when they uh, pick a spouse, uh, you know, that, that's going to weigh on whether they want to stick around. Okay, so let's move on to 70% cited religious, ethical, or political beliefs. Now that just means what? The social issues or they're, they're finding themselves out of line with, the, with where the church is standing on what issues in particular are we looking at? It tends to be more on the political and social end. Honestly, it's only around 10% or so are actually no longer believing in God or, or the real fundamental beliefs okay. of the church. It's, it's things like uh, the, the political views of the church. Um, and when, when they feel like they're not being accepted, they're not being welcomed, if they have some different views, then they're going to be stepping away. Okay, and last one we have is 63% said student and youth ministry reasons. What's that about? So this is a new section of the survey because we've done the survey 10 years ago and a lot of the factors stayed the same. Um, this is a new area and, and again, connecting with your peers is a really important part of, of a, a young person's experience in church and connecting with a youth leader is an important part of that. So it's really interesting. So it's not necessarily a secularization of this group of people, but they're feeling disconnected. They're feeling unheard. So there is potentially a way to fix it is the good news. Absolutely. Church, uh, you know, we, we outlined some of those ways in a brand new Lifeway book uh, from Ben Trueblood uh, saying that these young adults are within reach. And, and one of the biggest things that, that churches can be doing is for adults in the church to mm -hmm. connect with young people. Yeah. When, they, when a young person can name three or more adults that have personally and spiritually invested in their life, then they're three times more likely to stay in church. Wow. When they notice their family doesn't like attending church, they're not going to stick around either. And so we see some of those patterns in their lives that, uh, that the church can actually be doing something about and their own family can do Well, thank you about. so much, Scott. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate your perspective. Make a deal. Save the dreamers. That's the message for Democrats.